Warning, I, Dan Lanks, am going to completely blow your mind during this Minecraft video. So if you enjoy console Minecraft, hit that like button and subscribe for more block placing awesomeness. Hi, welcome to McDonald's. May I take your order? Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. People that work at McDonald's are never that happy. So anyway, what's up, guys? It is Dan Lags, and I am back again for another episode of tours, I guess. This isn't really a house. I was about to say house, but this is not a house. This is a house of food. Uh, this is a supermarket, guys. So um, basically, you guys gave me a ton of suggestions for what I should build in the empty lot across the street from the car dealership which is right across the street here as you can see so what i actually did was i actually built myself a shop right or a supermarket grocery store whatever you want to call it uh basically where i live the main uh grocery store is called shop right so um usually most grocery stores are regional so uh i'm sure if you're living somewhere on the west coast of the united states or in like europe or whatever the uk you probably never heard of shop right but yeah anyway um so basically, uh, this is the supermarket that I built, and you know, uh, this was the final thing I decided to do. And not only did I make a supermarket, but I also built a little gas station over there. We'll tour that as well during this video. So basically, thanks for the suggestions, guys. Um, I realized that actually when I was doing the car dealership video, I said that I had a grocery store in Danville already, but I actually didn't. So I went ahead and built one. So we're going to go ahead and just go inside of it. Um, this is kind of like the like the main area where you join or where you open, like I guess come inside. And then these are the most derpy, retarded looking uh, shopping carts of all time. I don't know. <laughs> it's like so stupid. All right. And then this is the uh, the grocery store that I built. And the whole thing is actually on half slabs. Uh, I felt like that was just kind of a good idea because there's a lot of stuff that looks a lot better in grocery stores when you're building with uh, half slabs. So uh, hold on one second, guys. Let me just check the recording, make sure we're going good because sometimes, you know, I forget to check and that's never good. So we are actually good to go. We are golden. So let's continue. Um, basically, as you can see, there's item frames on the uh, sides of all these shelves and stuff. And basically what I did was I just went back into one of the older houses in this map and I just got rid of the uh, item frames or the pictures in that house so I could place some more in the grocery store. So that's pretty much it. And then there's a whole bunch of uh, villagers walking around. You know, I just, I just spawned them in here. And it was really, really difficult uh, lighting this whole thing. But, you know, we're going to just kind of like, I'll just let you guys identify what all this stuff is. So this is kind of the uh, um, the register, I guess, where you, uh, you know, you put your food on a little conveyor belt thing. And it like rolls down and then you get bagged over here. This is like the... Um, the cash register and this is like the little thing that tells you how much money it's it is like you know the little thing that little screen that pops up and then these are just like some shelves for like magazines and stuff like that so those are the uh, registers right there there's five of those and then if you come over here we have ourselves um just kind of a deli slash like area kind of so there's a little cakes here like some sweets and stuff on each side and then we got some like i guess uh, lettuce and stuff like that there it looks kind of silly but that's the best i can do for minecraft and then uh, this is the deli right here so Basically, what the inside the deli, these are the little meat cutter things where like you cut the uh, cold cuts, get the slices of uh, like ham and whatever you're whatever you're ordering, and uh, yeah, and then right here is where you press the you press this button to get your little slip that tells you uh, when your order is ready. So that is the deli. So that's pretty much that. And these areas, these are all shelving, and uh, here's some more like little sweets area. All sh these are all shelving, so you can see uh, the item frames identify which one is which. And if you come through here, there are some more shelving back here on this wall. And it's this one's wine and spirits. And then down here, we just got like regular non-alcoholic beverages, I guess. So that's that. And um, as you can see, we got these little ceiling lights that I used in uh, yesterday's uh, furnishing tutorial. I used those for these for this building. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for that side. Over here is the McDonald's where the video started. And, you know, we have a whole bunch of sitting areas for the McDonald's. And here's just where you order your food. And these are the menus, I guess. Like, this is what they have that you can order. So you can get your uh, McDoubles right over here. You can get your uh, McChicken or whatever, chicken wrap, whatever you want to call it. No fish McBites, though, because I'm pretty sure those are disgusting. But anyway, um, this is the inside of the McDonald's. You know, we have the grills and stuff like that. And, now the furnaces work as the grills, and that's that's pretty much that. And these are the registers, and that's the McDonald's inside of the shop, right? So you know, I thought it was a, kind of a funny idea to add a little restaurant inside the shop, right? Just for like a little, just for your personal convenience, you can just come in while you're shopping and get something to eat. Very convenient. So that's pretty much it for the main room of the shop, right? 
And if you come in here, uh, these are just kind of like the back rooms, like the uh, loading dock rooms. This is like the back office for the manager, I guess. And uh, here's the garage door for the loading dock. I'll go take you or give you guys a look at that from the outside. Right here is just like a little like water thing, like where you like the water cooler, I guess. And then uh, this is a parallel room, I guess, very similar. Slightly different water cooler. It's a different color, blue. But yeah, that's pretty much that. So if you come out these back doors here, let me hit this button. And uh, basically, if you come back here, this is the loading docks. So um, I guess like the truck can pull up right here and like you just open up this garage door and load up all the stuff from McDonald's. And then over here, maybe you'll be the groceries and all the uh, stuff that you would sell in the store. And that's pretty much it. Um, the one flaw in this design was that there's not a whole lot of space for parking since it was not really that big of a lot. So what I did was I just added a whole bunch of parking spots in the back of the uh, in the back of the store. It's kind of inconvenient for the customers, but that's the best I could do for this uh, area of land. So a slight design flaw, but you know it's it's no big deal. It's just Minecraft. And uh, this is the front of the shop right again. It's looking pretty good. I'm actually really happy with the way this turned out. I thought it looks pr pretty realistic. Um, it's a little bit modern, obviously, but. Um, overall, I, I, my favorite part is the fact that it actually says ShopRite on the, uh, with the slabs and the wood for the spruce wood. Looks pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much that for the supermarket. So we'll fly over here and take a look at the gas station. So this is the gas station. As you can see, here are the little, like, uh, gas things, you know, that you get your gas. You come up, pull up, and fill up your car. And this is where the gas attendant chills because, in the, in, at least in the state that I live in, um... You know, we uh, they have the gas attendants pump your own gas. We don't actually have to get out of the car in our state, so it's pretty. It's a nice convenience. And then uh, over here is um, like a little car that's getting some gas. So that's pretty much it for the gas station. Pretty simple, you know. Just kind of like whatever gas station, pretty standard. And then right here is the convenience store for the gas station. So we'll go in here real quick. Uh, nothing really much to see in here. Uh, here's like the little. Here's the register. Um, you know, these are the. Uh, where you can get your drinks and stuff like that. That's where it keeps like the Gatorades and stuff like that. Um, so there's some shelves here, some sitting areas, and then you know you got your some more shelves over here for your, for your Gatorade and stuff like that. I know I love me I love me some Gatorade, so come there all the time. And we got a villager here who should be at the register. I don't know what he's doing. Back here is this is the back door that leads to the outside. We won't go out there because it's nothing to see. But here's the bathrooms. Uh, this is the men's bathroom. And this is the woman's bathroom. The reason why this is the woman's bathroom is because it has like the little, um, the baby changer thing up here. Um, I guess that that was kind of an interesting idea, but you know, like, um, how like you can like set your baby down, like change the diaper and stuff like that. That's usually done in the woman's bathroom. So that's what I did for that. And that's pretty much it for the convenience store. I'll take a quick arrow view of this and then we'll be out of here, guys. So guys, uh, quick announcement. Danville is almost done. Give me a little bit more time and it'll be up for download. Don't you worry, people. It'll probably be up or down before TU12 TU comes out. So um, we'll be able to start fresh and do some new stuff when the new update comes out. So uh, that's what to look forward to on my channel. Um, here's the back of the convenience store. Really simple. It's actually right on the edge of a forest. But yeah. Um, that's it. Pretty, that's pretty much it, guys, for this tour. Um, again, thanks for the suggestions um, in uh, the, the comment section of the car dealership. And... Uh, that's pretty much it. So th let me know what you guys think about this shop, right? Tell me if you like it or not. And, uh, make sure you click that like button if you did enjoy this video or if you got some inspiration from this, that'd be awesome. And, uh, it has been Dan Langs. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And, uh, Danville is not too far away from being up for download. So just be patient guys. And that's pretty much it. So I will talk to you guys on the next one. Peace out.